Hi everyone, here's a question. Are you underestimating the results your product and service can generate? <laughs> this is a thing. I run up against this all the time in my coaching practice. Business owners or account executives I coach undervalue and underestimate their results, their product and service can generate for their prospects. In this video, you'll uncover how you can fully utilize all the results, not just the old standby ROI results. Now, ROI is important, but it's not the only result your prospect is needing. Keep watching. I'm Christine Harrington, the Savvy Sales Lady, your personal YouTube sales coach. Now, my dad used to say, there's more than one way to skin a cat. <laughs> Don't ask me why people his age say that. It's pretty cruel when you think about it, right? <laughs> but my dad is right. There is more than one way to think about results too. Everyone always does the ROI. Okay, that's a given, but it might not be the most important result your prospect wants to realize. If you can't uncover more than an ROI as a result, you're in trouble. So let's go through this two-step exercise. Number one, belief. Do you truly believe in the results your product or service can generate? If your answer is no, then you really need to dig deeper on why you don't. This could be the single most important reason that's holding you back. Maybe your company isn't good at a particular thing like onboarding new clients, and you know this is going to maybe be a hot button for your prospect because they're counting on undisrupted onboarding. So instead of sabotaging the sale unconsciously because it might become a nightmare for you, put into place some ways you can manage the onboarding process so you don't step on the onboarding department toes. Sit in on their meetings and be sure to consistently check in with the new client. Two, what are all the possible results your prospect can realize from using your product or service? Do you know this off the top of your head? If not, make a list. And as a matter of fact, I encourage you to make a list. Each of your prospects may want similar results. Others may need something different. Getting it down on paper may help you realize a few results you may have missed. Here's a few to give you an example of other than an ROI result. Of course, this will differ from product to product in each of you. One might be ease of implementation, maybe minimal disruption to workflow. Another one could be coordinates among other departments give you something to think about. Now here's the next step. Look at your upcoming sales appointments for the week and go through this exercise with each prospect. See if you can identify other possible results your prospect may have never considered that could push them over the edge to buy. You see, our job as sales professionals is to identify all the issues so we can then match up solutions through our product and services to give the prospect the best possible results. Now give me a thumbs up if you're willing to try this exercise and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. We're a channel for all salespeople. Remember this, 
Sales is a journey, not a quick trip around the block. Now stay with me for your next coaching session, a video selected especially for you.